Hey guys, it's Sean, and tonight we're going to be shooting some celestial objects. I plan on shooting uh, Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, Saturn is at its closest approach, and I also plan on using a two times Barlow. So stay tuned, and hopefully, uh, you like what you see. Okay, so I thought I'd start the night out by uh, shooting Jupiter, um, and then once Saturn comes in view from my backyard, I'll be pointing my telescope towards that. This is the new 2 times Barlow I'm using. Uh, it's Celestron. Uh, this is a, a fully multi-coated, I think there's four pieces of optical uh, lenses in here. All right, first step is removing the camera and the focal reducer. Alright, so now that I've removed the focal reducer, uh, the focus is going to be way off. So I'm going to get this in focus before even switching to the 2 times Barlow. Okay, so I just took the focal reducer off, and I'm trying to get Jupiter back in focus. So, uh, as you can see, I can't see anything on the screen, so I'm going to play with the focus a bit and see if anything comes into view. Um, if not, then I'll start moving the telescope around to see uh, if I'm on the object. I think I'm starting to see a bit of a halo effect right here. Yeah, we're just not in focus. There we go, it's coming in. Okay, cool, so lots of exposure. So let's turn that back down. Turn the game back down to 50 or so. And get that back in there. get it in view a bit more by using EQ mod and moving the telescope. First going to change the slew speed and then start moving it. Uh, it's always good to tell Stellarium that you've moved the object so it'll realign. Uh, just press Control 3 and it will select that target and align to it. Let's zoom in and play with the focus. Uh, typically what you would do is use a bat knot mask on a nearby star uh, and then get your focus that way then point the telescope back at the object um, but I just wanted to try this quickly to see what I can get and uh, it looks pretty good so let's do a quick capture uh, I'm just doing I think 500 frames so this will be done in a few seconds or so Okay, next I'm going to put the 2 times Barlow on, uh, regain focus, and see what I can get. Uh, first I'm going to unscrew the inch and a quarter adapter. I also have a filter on here. I'm going to keep that where it is because it will fit inside the 2 times Barlow. Nice and snug. Uh, tighten the compression ring and insert the 2 times Barlow back into the telescope. I'm definitely out of focus, so let's start playing with that focus knob again and get the object in view. Nice, there it is already. Okay, so I need to up the exposure a bit to see this. Uh, okay, so let's again tell Stellarium where Jupiter is, just more accurately. And then let's get focus on a nearby star because that is very important. Okay, so when I remove the Batnoff mask, we should be in focus. And that star looks pretty round, so that, yeah, I would say we're in focus, especially using a Barlow lens. Now that we have perfect focus, let's point the telescope back at Jupiter. Uh, let's regain our exposure, proper exposure. Nice. 
And we can record that puppy. Actually, let's get a better frame. Perfect. Okay. And yeah, let's capture. I'm really surprised with how detailed and close up Jupiter looks. I'm excited to process this actually. I, uh, I can really see a lot of detail right now. So once I stack this and uh, use wavelets to bring out some of the colors, I should be able to get a good image. This is definitely better than using the three times Barlow. Saturn is just about past our trees, but I have to wait a little bit more. But I'm gonna take a few more shots of Jupiter in the meantime. Okay guys, so I just uh, finished shooting Jupiter and uh, it turned out pretty well. Uh, I still have to wait for Saturn to become available in my backyard because it's blocked right now from some trees. Uh, so it's a good time to go for a dip. Let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So hopefully I'm in view. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. And hopefully I don't look like too much of an idiot. Um, but as I was saying, yeah, I shot Jupiter for this evening. Um, I got lots of good crisp images with the focal reducer, without the focal reducer, and the two times Barlow without the focal reducer. I'm now waiting till Saturn comes into view and then I'm gonna be shooting that once it's there. Um, and I'm gonna tr probably try all three combinations again, uh, but mostly uh, sticking to the two times Barlow because I'm able to pull out a lot of detail. Uh, a lot more than I was uh, expecting. I now want to use the three times Barlow on Jupiter. Uh, it looked a bit muddy, um, but with the two times Barlow, I am really able to get up close uh, without making things too blurry, and uh, I think the results are going to turn out great. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go for a swim, and uh, we'll catch you guys uh, later. Uh, some of you might ask if it's good to have a telescope by your pool. So far, I haven't noticed any issues. This is how close the telescope is to the pool, um, but thankfully the splashing end is down by the deep end over there and not over here by the telescope. Okay, so let's get this centered and then switch back over to the Barlow. <clears throat> Alright, so that's great. Now that we got that in view, let's get the Barlow lens back on. So now we should just have to play with the focus a bit to get Saturn. And there it is. Align the telescope to that object. And actually, let's move to the star right beside it so we can throw the Batnaf mask on and get real good focus. Awesome, now that we have that star in view, let's turn the exposure up and gain good focus by throwing the Batman mask out. That's good enough. All right, so now let's point this back at Saturn. Let's try doing a capture now. All right, that about does it for tonight. Uh, I was able to shoot both Jupiter and Saturn, and I'm really happy with what I was able to capture. Anyways, I'm gonna pack it in for the night. Uh, I got a busy day of work tomorrow. After that, I'm gonna find some time to process these images, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. I ended up processing a few images from the footage I captured on this night. Jupiter through the 2 times Barlow looked pretty good on my 6-inch telescope. I'd like to try shooting this object once I get to a dark sky site. I'm also very happy with my Saturn image. 
This was my first time shooting this planet, and I'm glad to see I was able to pull out some detail in Saturn's rings. And even though my main objective was to shoot some planetary objects, what surprised me most was actually my shots of the moon using the ASI 120 camera. I processed an image out of this footage using AutoStacker and PixInsight, and I ended up with some surprising results. <laughs>